Hey guys, uh, it's EMC Dojo here. Uh, so lately what we've been hearing is that Cloud Foundry users don't really know how to use Docker containers and uh, Docker people using uh, Docker containers don't really know how to use Cloud Foundry. So what we kind of wanted to do is show a quick video of how easily it is to use a Docker image, Docker container inside of Cloud Foundry and how scalable Cloud Foundry can be with those containers and how redundant and kind of HA high available Cloud Foundry is for people uh, when they're using Docker containers, okay? So the first thing is, is you have to make sure that your uh, admin of CF has enabled a feature flag, okay? Uh, this is very simple, you can just request it. Uh, it's just a Diego underscore Docker feature flag. It enables Docker inside of Cloud Foundry. Um, and then after that, it's pretty simple for the end user. This is what the developer would be doing. They would be doing a CF push. Uh, be giving the application a name, so I'm going to call this containers. And then what we're going to do is use the dash O flag. The O flag gives it a idea of what um, what image we want to use. So this is going to pull from the Docker Hub by default. Use the Docker Hub. You can also set this up and set up your Cloud Foundry to use a private repo. That's what a lot of enterprise customers do with Cloud Foundry is they want to use their own private Docker repo. Um, so I'm pushing a container now. It's going out, pulling it from Docker Hub, and now it just started it. So it actually tears apart the Docker image and then reassembles it to run on Cloud Foundry. Um, so now if I go to this URL, you can see that we have a little web app here. So we've got an index of zero because this is our zeroth instance. We only have one. And then uh, we have an IP. This is actually running on bare metal using Rack HD. Uh, so we actually have a bare metal IP right there. And then this shouldn't change if I refresh a page because we only have one instance. Now what I want to do is though I want to show you if we scale it, right? So if we scale this uh, application, let's bring it up to 100 instances. Um, let's see what happens. I'm going to have to restart because I'm changing the memory. If you're not changing the memory or CPU, you can always, uh, you can always just scale hot. Uh, so if I wanted to just scale the instance count, you could just do that um, on the fly. But uh, 100 instances running at 10 megs each, not too bad, but it exceeds my quota. So as we keep going here, we got 100 starting. And as these are starting, you'll see here we get the whole list of them. This, uh, this index number should start changing. And that's because these are actually different containers. So this has got 100 different containers running across, across my cluster of uh, Cloud Foundry. So you see all these are changing. And then you can see on the bottom, uh, my IPs are actually changing. And that's because these are bare metal servers. They all have IPs, right? And essentially what's going on is these containers are getting load balanced across all of them automatically. So you should see here 24, 25, 26, 27. Um, and if you refresh this page enough, you'd see that the index would go from all the way from 0 to 99. Okay. So what we started out with was, uh, was a simple Golang app. Uh, it was an HTTP app. And uh, there's me on the bottom. And what I did was I took that app and I made it into a Docker image. And then I pushed that Docker image to the Docker hub and gave it a tag. Um, very simple. And then from there, what I did was I told Cloud Foundry, hey Cloud Foundry, go use this Docker image to spin up an application on yourself. And then I scaled it. Um, really we only use two, two commands. Uh, we use CF push and uh, CF scale. It's a pretty simple process. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, let us know if uh, we could help you with anything else over at the EMC Dojo.